Good morning, guys. So the next two weeks are our final weeks of Saxon Phonics, and they're going to be review days, okay? So each day we're going to be reviewing something different that we've learned over this year. So real quick, let's go ahead and go over some of our letter cards. Are you ready? So we have final syllable, T-I-O-N, digraph, U-E, diphthong, O-U, ghost, digraph, K-N, digraph, E-I, trigraph, T-C-H, digraph, or diphthong, O-W, trigraph, D-G-E, digraph, A-Y, diphthong, O-Y, digraph, E-Y, digraph, A-W, final syllable, D-L-E, digraph, E-A, digraph, A-U, digraph, I-E, ghost, digraph, G-N, combination, A-R, digraph, E-W, Digraph O A, final syllable G L E, combination Q U, final syllable B L E, combination W H, ghost, digraph W R, digraph P H, diphthong O I, and then final syllable F L E. All right, so we've learned so much over this year that we're going to review what we know. So the first thing that we're going to review are consonant digraphs, okay? So what's a digraph? Remember, a digraph is two letters that make one sound. So if it's a consonant digraph, it's a digraph that's going to start with a consonant. That's right. So here are our consonant digraphs. So we're going to try to identify each one. We have digraph CK, digraph SH, ghost. Digraph G N, digraph T H, digraph C H, ghost, digraph K N, digraph N G, digraph P H, and then ghost, digraph W R. So some of these kind of go together. We know that when we see C K or N G, they're going to be towards the end of a word. We're not going to start a word with CK. Remember, CK is an ending, okay? And then TH, SH, um, CH, and PH, those are digraphs that can be seen in the beginning, middle, and end, consonant digraphs. And then, of course, GN, KN, and WR, we said they're ghost digraphs, okay? All right, so let's try to look at the sounds that those letters make, okay? We're going to try to identify each one we have. So we'd say duck, k, digraph CK, thimble, digraph TH. Now remember, TH has two. Do you remember the other one? That's right. It was a feather, v, digraph TH. Remember, it can make that sound that almost vibrate your lips. Then we have ring, mm, digraph NG, shark. Sh, digraph SH, cheese, ch, digraph CH, phone, f, digraph PH, gnat, n, ghost, digraph G, n, not, n, ghost, digraph K, n, and reef, r, ghost, Digraph W R. Very good. All right, so some of these digraphs are dependable for their sounds, okay? The circle digraphs are dependable. This means that all the time you can depend on them to make that sound. And that CK is always going to say K, TH is always going to say th or th, okay? NG is always going to say N, mm. SH is always going to say SH. And CH is always going to say ch. The other ones, remember, sometimes they make, make, might make a different sound, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull out our activity sheet so that we can practice our reviewing our consonant digraphs. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get ready to review those consonant digraphs, okay? So we're going to start with our spelling sounds. 
And so if I make the sound, how can you spell that sound? That's right, it's C-H if it's at the beginning or the initial or the middle sound. And then at the end, it's going to be C-H or T-C-H. Remember, T-C-H always comes after a short vowel. Okay, what about the U sound, U? What well, can be U, consonant E or U? And then it can be ending, remember the word blue. It can be that U-E, very good. How about the hua, hua sound? W-H, very good. How about J, J? It can be J or it can be soft G if it's at the beginning or middle. And then at the end, it's going to be DGE, trigraph DGE, if it's after a short vowel, and then GE after everything else. Okay? What about the S sound? S or soft C, that's right. And then at the end, it can be SS when you're following that floss roll after a short vowel. It can be SE after almost everything else, and then CE after a long vowel like mice. Okay, how about the ah sound ah? Well, normally when we see ah, we think of the letter A, but let's think about those other digraphs that can make it. Remember, it can be AU, like in faucet, if it's at the beginning or the end, or it can be a W if it's at, or sorry, at the beginning or the middle for AU, a W if it's at the end like paw. How about the er sound? And this is the er sound that we usually spell at the end of words. That's right, er. How about or, or? O R, perfect. Okay, how about I? I consonant E or I. And then at the end, what else can make that I sound? That's right, Y can sound like I. How about qua, qua? If I'm spelling it, it's going to take what? A Q and a U to spell that. That's exactly right. All right, let's practice using some of those um, consonant digraphs to spell some words. Are you ready? What if I want to spell the word black? Black. Well, for my color songs, I might already know this word, but let's sound it out just in case. So, bull. B-L, very good. Then, ah, ah. A. Now remember, that's a short A because it says ah, so the next sound I hear is k, and I know after a short A, it's going to be ck, because after that short sound for that k, I use ck. How about those, those, I've got that v sound, like feather. That's right, T-H, so th, O, O's. Now remember, when I hear that Z at the end of words, a lot of times it's going to be, since it's a long O and I need an E, it's going to be that S instead of a Z. So th, O's, those. How about think? That's that other T-H, like in thimble. A, A, uh-huh, then unk, unk. N-K, very good, think. Now this type of think is like you're when you're saying thank you. If you're thinking about think like I'm thinking of something in my brain, that's I-N-K. So that's kind of a trick. All right, let's try a few more. Are you ready? What if I want to spell show, show, sh, digraph, S-H, that's right. And then I have that O sound at the end. But can I leave that O by itself? No, usually I need the O and the W. That's right. Much. Mmm. Then uh, uh. U and ch, ch. C-H. Good job. How about bring? So listen at the beginning. I have that burr. That burr blend, which I know is going to be B-R. Then I have ing. What makes that ing sound? I-N-G. Very good. And now phone, phone, f -f -f -f. that's right, it's that sounds like an F, but it's digraph PH, f oh, then own, n. 
N, and since it's a long O, it needs a sneaky E. That's right. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try to code these words. On the first word, do you see any words that you need? That's a compound word, so where do you think I'm going to break it apart? Let's try right down the middle, okay? I've got an, on the first word, I've got an A in front of a TH, so I know it's going to be short. I've got that digraph TH that I've got to underline, so bath. Bath, very good. And then over here, what do you notice? I've got O, consonant E. So long O, sneaky E. So robe. So bath robe. So you see the picture of the bath robe? There it is. Good job. How about this next word? Hmm. Well, where are my um, vowels? I've got a vowel here, and I've got a vowel here, and I've got that consonant, consonant. So I'm going to chop it down the middle, okay? So now my vowel is in front of a consonant, so I know it's going to be short in the first part. And then I've got digraph CH that I need to underline. So chip, chip. And then I've got a U in front of an N, so that's going to be short. M unk. So chipmunk. That's right, chipmunk. So we're going to show it to the picture of the chipmunk. Remember, a chipmunk is kind of like a squirrel. All right, in the next word, what do you notice? Well, right off the bat, I have to look at the end, and I see I've got that S. And remember, my S usually tells me that we're going to have more than one of something. Now, what else do I have, though? This is a longer word. Where am I going to break it apart at? I've got some vowels over here, and then I've got a vowel here, and two consonants together. Okay, here's the thing, though. Look at the two consonants that are together. That is a digraph, the TH, and I cannot split that up. So I have to break it apart on the other side of it, okay? They need to stay together. And then over here, now I have EA. So digraph EA. Now remember, digraph EA is kind of tricky because it can make three different sounds. It can make the long E sound, the short E sound, or the long A sound. So let's just start with long E and see if that works. F ETH. Feathers, does that make sense? No, so it's not the long E. Let's try short E. Fev, fev, and then ers, feathers. Does that make sense? Yes, and the only other thing I need to do is I've got that ER that I need to connect. Feathers, good job. Ooh, this is a long one. This is actually a compound word, so we're going to break it apart right here. It's the word checkerboard. And then what else do I need to code in there? Well, this first part, checker, has more than one syllables. Okay, so I have a vowel here and a vowel here and those consonants behind it. Okay, now look, though. That's CK. That's a digraph. So can I break that apart? No. So I need to break it apart after that. Okay. I've got an E, and E in front of CK is always going to be short, and I've got digraph CK, so ch, ek, then arch your ER together, checker, <clears throat> and then on the other side, what do you see? Ooh, I've got OA together, and remember OA is long O, sneaky A, so b, ord, board, so checker, board, so where's that checker board? Down at the bottom, good job. All right, the next word. Ooh, it's a long word, I'm gonna have to break it apart. Hmm, where would I break it apart at? This is actually a compound word. So we're gonna break it apart right here because this is the word earphones, okay? Now, I see the E-A together, okay? That's gonna be a long E and a silent A, so ear, and then over here, I've got an O sneaky E word. So long O sneaky E. Remember that S I've got a box off because it means more than one. And then I've got digraph PH. So ear and then PH phones, earphones. See the picture of this boy wearing some earphones. All right, the next word is a compound word too. Do you see where you think you can break it apart? I see one of our sight words. I see the word time, so I know I need to break it apart right there, okay? Then over here, I've got an I in front of the NG, 
So that's going to be short. I've got digraph ng that I need to put together. And then over here I've got SPR. And SPR is one of our three letter blends that we can blend, to blend together. Spring. Spring. Very good. And then over here, you might just know the words, but we know this is an I sneaky E word. Long I sneaky E for the word time. So springtime. Which picture would match that? That's right, the flowers. All right, this is another compound word, okay? So where do you think I'm going to break it apart? Well, let's just kind of look at the beginning. I've got A-I, long A, silent I, P ain't, paint. So that's the word right there by itself, so I'd break it apart right there, okay? And then over here, what do I have? Ooh, I've got E-S. Remember, sometimes I have to put ES at the end, and it means the same thing as S, okay? Then I've got a U in front of digraph SH, so it's going to be short. And then I've got SH, so brushes, paint brushes. Very good. All right, remember, we're going to read through this, and I'm going to highlight my sight words that I already know that I don't have to stop and look at, okay? All right, so I rode, rode my bike with my dog King, King down to the beach, beach on the oddest day of the year. The wheels on my bike were faster, faster than King. So I went slower, slower until he could catch, catch up. I got a if with a salty, salty sea air as we neared the water. Soon we were standing. Standing on the hot sand, sand of the beach. The sand was so hot that it began to hurt, hurt our feet. We made a dash, dash for the cooler, cooler wet sand at the w otters water's edge this time king was f faster and he did not wait for me but i was not angry at king after all he had four feet to cool and i only had two so when did i go to the beach hmm let's go look back I rode my bike with King down to the beach on the hottest day of the year. So we're going to write hottest day of the year. So my next, oops, my R. My next one says, which is fastest, the bike, King, or the water? Hmm. It says, the wheels on my bike were faster than King, so the bike. Where was the sand cooler? So it says, the sand was hot, so it began to hurt our feet. So we made a dash for the cooler, wet sand at the water's edge. So at the water's edge. What does the word with mean? So does it mean to splash, to smell something, or to sing? So look right here. Let's look at how it says, I got a whiff of the salty air as we neared the water. That means to smell something, if you get a whiff of something. All right, and then there's just a couple sight words that you can work on right here. You guys have done an awesome job. Thank you.